guys, welcome to another video of our Casually Explained series. In this series, we are talking about some scientific terms which you regularly see and hear in your daily life. In this video, we are going to talk about Alzheimer's disease. Everybody knows that loss of memory is an inevitable process which takes place as we age. There are many factors which lead to memory loss. This loss of memory in most of the people is mild one. This simply means that they can do most of their work of their daily routine on their own. But things can take a dramatic turn when one gets Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer is a disease that slowly destroys memory and other mental functions. In this condition, some proteins start to deposit throughout the brain. Because of this, the connection between neurons weakens, which may lead to non-function and death of neurons. This damage starts from the part of brain which forms and stores the memory, the hippocampus. And slowly, the whole brain is affected by it. The symptoms of Alzheimer are categorized into four stages. Predementia, early, moderate and advanced. In pre-dementia stage, the person shows difficulty in learning and planning. Some depressive symptoms also appear in this stage. As the time passes, the difficulty in learning increases and the person reaches to the early stage. In the early stage, some people also show problem with language and executive functions. In the third stage, difficulty in remembering and sleeping occurs. As the patient get more and more confused about the places, they start to have problems determining where they are. The last stage is known as advanced stage and as the name suggests, it is the severe one. In this stage, ability to think becomes very poor. The problem in speaking appears, swallowing the water and food becomes difficult. Even maintaining the balance becomes tough and with the progress of disease, almost all the function of the brain stops. This makes a person anxious and paranoid. The Alzheimer's disease is considered as a genetic disease. But some lifestyle and environment related factors like lack of exercise, obesity, smoking, high BP can also lead to Alzheimer's. Head injuries and depression and hypertension can also lead to Alzheimer. People with Down syndrome and heart disease are more prone to Alzheimer's disease. Also, the women are more likely to develop Alzheimer than men. As of today, there is no treatment for the Alzheimer's disease. But the scientists are working hard to crack this hard nut. So, keep your fingers crossed. Is any of your relative or friend suffering from Alzheimer? Let us know in the comment box. For more such interesting videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.